Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is March the 21st, 2021, and I want to get an early start on some watermelon seeds here. Now I'm gardening in Pennsylvania in Zone 5B, and uh, watermelons, um, sometimes they mature in time before frost hits, sometimes they don't. So uh, I'm going to be growing two different varieties this year. I'm going to be growing a Blacktail Mountain Watermelon, which is supposed to be really good for the north. It is an heirloom watermelon. And then I'm also going to be growing a Sugar Baby Watermelon, which um, is supposed to be an early mature. So um, I have my watermelon seeds soaking here in a light solution of neem oil. And um, that helps to prevent seed-borne diseases. And I find that it helps a lot. It also helps to uh, prevent what they call anthracnose which can be on the seeds and um, it's devastating can be devastating to your crops so I find that just pre-treating my seeds here really helps a lot so um, I'm going to be using the Jiffy peat pellets here um, if you're really careful with transplanting you can use cell packs but I prefer to just use the peat pellets here and then I'll be transplanting them into a larger Jiffy biodegradable container. So I'm just dumping a little bit of the neem oil solution over my um, peat pellets here. And what that's gonna do is that's going to help prevent any soil borne disease. Like um, sometimes you can have an issue with dampening off or something like that. This will help to prevent that. So I'm just gonna go through here and put a little bit on. If a seed falls out, we can just move it, or if that's where it's going to be planted at, that's fine. So I'm just going to take one of these two seeds out here and put it over here. I'm just going to move these two here, because I don't need these two right now. Whoops. The seed's kind of falling. It's a little slippery. I'm wearing gloves just because of the neem oil. So I'm just going to take my watermelon seed here, pushing it down the back of my nail, and I'm just going to gently cover it here, firm my soil over the top, and I am going to have to plant, uh, I am going to have to soak some more peat pellets for my uh, other variety, because these here are all already planted. this in here, cover over the top, and there we go. So what I'm going to do with this is, um, because I'm growing these in the greenhouse, and even when I started my stuff inside, um, we have radiant heat in the floor. So that's what I use as my uh, germination mat. And you can see some of the pipes here, they came out from being covered, but um, what these do is they run hot water through them, and this is actually my heat source. But it also works great as a germination mat. So I'm going to be putting my seeds on there with a very loose covering over them. Your seeds need oxygen to germinate. So when these start coming up, I will come back and I will show them to you. I am going to show you then how to transplant them when they're large enough to go into the bigger containers. And I will have a video on my channel for how to start your cantaloupes. From seed. So when these start coming up, I will come back and I will show them to you. So we'll be back. So I put this one here down here on the floor and I'm just going to put my loose covering over the top here. And you can see I have for the excess heat to come out, the airflow can go in there, get them fresh air because they need that oxygen to germinate. So um, when these start coming up, we'll be back. Okay, so today is March 30th, 2021, and on March 27th, my Blacktail Mountain watermelon seeds started germinating, and on the 27th, the Sugar Baby watermelon started germinating. So I took them out of the enclosed container, and I put them out in a tray in the greenhouse. So you can see this one here has a root starting to come out the bottom. And when I transplant these, I'm going to be transplanting them into the Jiffy Number no. 5 biodegradable containers. 
So uh, I'll come back with a video and I'll show you then um, how I do that. So I really want to get an early start on the watermelons. So when I transplant these, I'll come back with another video. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. I'll try to put a new video on. And also follow me on Twitter. I have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and hope you have a nice day. Bye.